Hi everybody, this is Jonathan Cox. And I'm Jessica Cox. And I'm Michelle Pierce. And this is Mikey. <laughs> yes, we are truly a family-owned business. So, um, anyway, we just wanted to touch base with you all today. And uh, basically, over the years, more and more our business is about marketing consultancy and passing on what we've learned to our clients. So, here's a little bit of what we've learned as a business in 2017 and how we're going to apply that to the next year. So last year, um, after being in business for almost nine years now, in fact our anniversary is going to be at the end of this month, um, we realized that we needed an operating system within our business. Something that allowed our team members to uh, know what the goal was and to all pull together towards that goal. So we stumbled across something in the Dave Ramsey Entre Leadership Training and it is a book called The Four Disciplines of Execution. So one of the principles in that is that you get your whole team together at like a, a company summit. And in that summit, you talk about um, your culture and where you want to go as a business. And from those discussions and from the discussions of your operations and your vision, you come up with, as a company, wildly important goals. And the principle behind this is that just like trying to push your fingers through a piece of paper, if you try to push five through a piece of paper at one time, the pressure is distributed equally and you can't push through. So 4DX tells you to choose one or two things maximum that you're to focus on. Any more than that and your team uh, effort will be diluted and you'll have a harder time accomplishing that. So we rolled that out in April of last year and what we decided to do is a combination of two different goal types. The first goal type was from the top down. And what that means, you know, see Mikey's yeah. contributing to this. He's, he's come into the world in the middle of this implementation process. So, But uh, a top down goal is one that the leadership comes up with. And they say, um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they say, uh, here's what's important to me as a leader or, or uh, as a leadership team. And here's what I think that we should strive for. And you take that wildly important goal and you break it down into bite-sized pieces called lead measures. The second goal type that we went with is something called a bottom-up goal. And a bottom-up goal basically means that your team, the people that handle um, the production and the day-to-day -day administration within the business, they get to say, this is what I think is important about growing our business or fixing things that are going on within our organization. This is what I believe that we should focus on in the next year. And we actually got some really awesome feedback from our team, so major shout out to everyone. Thank you very much for participating and coming up with brilliant things that actually are meaningful to achieving what we're trying to do with our business. Thank you. Yeah, so last year our first goal was an income related goal. That was our top down goal. So I was basically saying to the team, um, we want to hit this number in sales and now let's break that down into uh, bite-sized chunks. The second goal, the team goal, was um, cultivating reviews from our customers and coming up with a process for asking for reviews for our business. So fortunately, uh, both worked really, really well. We actually hit our income goal for 2017. Our income goal for this year is 10% higher than that, so we're kind of pushing the bar. and. Our second goal uh, to increase reviews, we got something like 30 reviews between Facebook and Google. So both of those, uh, focusing the team and putting that um, in a centralized place where everybody can see the goals and be accountable to those goals has been huge for us. Um, the last thing that I'll say on this is in order to keep everybody kind of going in the same direction and accountable, um, it's important for you to meet at least once a week with your team. And in that meeting, you all go through what your individual lead measures are towards accomplishing that larger, wildly important goal. And a lead measure is basically a bite-sized piece of the wildly important goal that that team member feels like they have 70% or more control of in being able to accomplish and move the needle towards the wildly important goal. So anyway, that's the big lesson that we learned in the last... Um, year, install an operating system within your business, get everybody reading from the same playbook, put a, a centralized scoreboard out there where everybody can see it and be held accountable to it, and everybody needs to uh, meet once or twice a week to share their progress on lead measures towards that wildly important goal. So.
Jess has another update for you. Just really quickly, around December 14th, Google did a, an update, which they didn't really announce too big. A lot of updates happen, you get maybe like 300 plus a year from Google, and some of them are small, they're just trying to fix things, and some of them are big, like Penguin, where they fix large things and it causes major tectonic shifts in a lot of different industries. This one was not as big as Penguin, but it did have some effects around the holiday season for sites that usually don't see a lot of action around holidays. Google typically leaves things alone in December because it's a big season for retail and a lot of other categories. The ones that got hit the most here were autos and vehicles, law and government, reference, and some other, I saw the biggest changes, but also changes related to travel. A lot of pages, or a lot of sites that use doorway pages where you are looking for like city name, things to do in city name, and there's a bunch of pages that are very, very similar that basically do the same thing, but you're just trying to hit as many doorways to access your site as possible. And Google doesn't like those because it leads to multiple search results for the same site and the same content, and they really hate duplicate content. Super, super don't like it. So what that means is you need to be careful about how you're using your landing pages. Make sure that each page has unique content, and you do want to think about keywords because it's good for your visitors, but basically do what's good for your visitors, not what you're trying to game search results or game Google. Google doesn't like it. It's bad. Mikey doesn't like it either. But the other thing that is a major factor that's increasing is schema usage. So that's a coding technical thing that is how you see certain snippets from pages. Sometimes when you ask Google for a recipe, it'll give you the recipe and the picture and a link to the website. That means they had really good schema set up that let Google go deep into their page, get specific data, and pull that in search results so that people can access your website content without having to actually visit your webpage. Google loves that. So the other thing is mobile saw a much bigger shift than desktop, which means, among other things, Google is paying a lot of attention to mobile search results because that's where the universe is going. Mikey may not know what a desktop computer is. But anyway, those are some of the things to keep in mind. Again, build your stuff for search engines, but mostly build it for your users, make it good content, and keep one page of unique content around it your keywords instead of trying to build 16 different pages that basically do the same thing just for keywords. There's daddy turn. That's the baby. <laughs> and on to Michelle. Um, <clears throat> just kind of going back to touch on what uh, Jonathan was talking about with 4DX, um, you know, one of the things that we were discussing uh, halfway through December, uh, we had our big year uh, and wrap up um, for what we had accomplished in 2017 discussing here. what we wanted to do in 2018 and okay <laughs> um, like <a> Paul. yeah <laughs> hi Paul <laughs> um, and so what we had just you know, like John said what we had discussed with the top-down goal again was just 10% uh, higher to push the bar uh, for our financial goal and then for um, and kind of we had been discussing a lot about this among the team um, so we pretty much all decided that our uh, bottom-up goal uh, for next year was going to be a more consistent client reporting, um, particularly for our clients who have monthly retainers uh, with us, just um, to you know look you know to look at the websites, look at look at websites, look at social media, look at video, look at everything that we're doing for them and everything that they have, and you know just kind of see where things are going, analyze it, and. Um, you know, actually be able to strategize uh, on a more, more frequent basis um, with what to do with those things. So, yep. And thank you very much to all of our clients for being consistent through the years. We want to be able to serve you well. That's basically what this goal is about, is helping you understand what's happening with your accounts and all of your different distribution platforms and to make sure that we're aligned with the goals that are important to you on a monthly basis. Yes, thank you all. And hey, if you have any questions on any of this stuff, you can comment below or visit our website um, or Google us. We're, uh, our phone number is 918-518-5907. There you go. She's the detail-oriented <laughs> person. <laughs> so our website is aquavitacreative.com, A-Q-U-A-V-I-T-A creative.com. So we hope to hear from you guys. We're going to try and keep this up, keep updating you at least once a month with the uh, Facebook Live videos. And uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks and God bless.
Thank you for watching. You want to save me or you want to stop there? <laughs> 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 and, no. and cut. All right. Goodbye, my dear.